Hello everyone. My name is Vajit and I'm a program manager for Microsoft Teams developer community responses. We got a lot of feedback from community to have scenario based samples along with the capability samples we have today. So today I'm going to do a demo and have a code walkthrough for Microsoft Teams bot for scheduling a task to get a reminders. First, we'll cover the basics on scenario and we'll do a demo using the ready to try app manifests which are available on GitHub. After the demo, I'll show you how you can set this up on your local machine. We'll also do a code walkthrough covering the key code snippets and followed by the questions. Sending a proactive message to end user of your app is a very common scenario. In this sample, we allow user to schedule a daily task reminder. As per the end user experience on installation, you'll get a welcome card which has information about the app and the next action to be taken. User can then create task reminder by filling the task description along with the schedule. Bot then sends an adaptive card as a response when the reminder hits. Now let's just try and sideload the ready to try manifest. Uh, we'll have a demo uh, and then uh, then we'll go through the uh, repository and the code snippets. So if you go to Microsoft Teams samples repository, in the sample code repository, what we have started doing is we added a section called try it yourself. And what we have done, we picked top sa samples and deployed these samples in Azure instance. Now, what you could do is you could actually go ahead and download these and without you writing any code, you could just try those out. So in today's, we are covering this book, uh, task reminder. I click on view. This will take me to zip file, which I'll be able to download and then sideboard in the demo tenant. I'll just open my demo tenant. Meanwhile, click on download. This is a zip file which has the manifest available. You'll be able to download that out. So it's downloaded. I'll switch to a demo tenant. So what we already did, we already downloaded the manifest which we are going to try. We go to app section, click on manage your apps and select upload a custom app. So now I'm installing it in my personal scope. Can you see the bot uh, screen now for the daily task reminder? Yes, I see that now. Once this app is installed, you'll get a welcome message stating that the sample is for scheduling a recurring task. And the way to start is by using create reminder. So we'll start with the command, create reminder, and you see a schedule task dialog. Okay, in schedule task dialog, You'll be able to enter the task details. Demo. And I'll schedule it for 1021. And we'll select Tuesday, Wednesday till Friday. Once you submit the task, you'll get a message saying the reminder has been set. And after two minutes, we'll get the reminder. Meanwhile, we'll go back to slides and take a look at the uh, next, next things. So in order to run this sample locally, uh, these are the steps we are going to follow. Uh, we're going to clone the repo and open the pod daily task reminder solution first. Then we'll go to Azure and create a new bot and capture the IDs required. We'll then launch the ngrok and up update the endpoints in the bot. We'll also update the app setting and app manifest file. 
what I have already done is I have already cloned this repo. I have just fetched the latest code. What we'll do is we'll open the Explorer, go to samples, go to a folder for task reminder, and open a daily task reminder solution. Okay, so this is the solution for the task reminder. Uh, we have opened the app settings and the manifest file. We need Microsoft app ID and app password for our app. So the next step is to go and create Azure bot and then capture these IDs. In order to create a new, new bot, you go to create resource and search for Azure bot. Once you click on Azure bot and create, you'll be asked to enter the bot handle, subscription, and resource group details. So I'm just giving some dummy name here, putting in uh, the resource group, and the type of app would be multi-tenant. Once you fill in the, this information, click on review and create. To save time, I have already created a bot. Uh, this is already available. Once this bot is created, you'll be uh, you'll be shown the bot uh, profile page. This is where you'll be able to upload your custom icon and you'll be able to set the display name. What we need to do now is we need to copy the Microsoft app ID and the Microsoft uh, app secret. So I have copied this. We'll go back and Put it in our solution. In order to get the app secret, we click on manage, go to certificates and secrets, and click on new client secret. We'll just keep the recommended option and click on add. Copy the client secret and pasting it back in our code. Next thing we need to do is set up an ngrok and run it on the local host port. So this is the ngrok command. I want to run and open up a tunnel between my port number 3978 and get the HTTPS forwarding address. Because all the communication in Teams happens over HTTPS, we need to provide HTTPS endpoint for our bot. So I've copied the bot, copied the ngrok URL. We'll go back to bot, go to configuration section, and put the message endpoint. The endpoint is API slash messages. And we click on save. Now we go back to our solution. We have one value to be filled. This is application base URL. It's the same as the ngrok base URL. The last step is to go and update the manifest file. So if you go to app packages folder, you'll find the manifest.json file. And you'll see the placeholder where values need to be updated. You can use the same bot ID as a manifest ID and for the bot ID. And for the domain, we'll just put in the ngrok domain. Now, we'll just open this folder and zip these files. So we have our manifest file ready. Now we run the solution locally. This will open up the solution on 39784, and we'll verify whether our ngrok is pointing to the right place. So you can just copy the ngrok and just paste just to confirm that we are running on right port. So we got uh, a request on ngrok for HTTP GET, and it's loading the same page as localhost. Now we go back to our uh, demo tenant. And as you can see, this was the 
previous uh, task which was scheduled and this actually sent a reminder saying this is a community call. What we'll do now is we'll go back and upload this local manifest what we have. Go to manage apps, upload a custom app. And just pasting in the URL here. Adding it to my personal scope. And just to confirm, just looking at the end grok, we started getting the API slash messages a request, and you could see we got a welcome message from the uh, our bot which is running locally. And same way you could uh, go ahead and create a reminder. It will follow the same flow which we have already covered. Instead, uh, I, I'll go next and we'll have a code walkthrough covering the code snippets in the sample. So coming to the code walkthrough, we'll start with the libraries using the sample. We're using bot remake SDK v4. For the scheduler, we are using COTS NuGet package. And to store the task details and user details, we are using in memory storage. In terms of flow, we first start by sending out a welcome message to the user when the app is installed. Then we capture the required information of the user so that we can send them a proactive message. We schedule a job using a cron expression and then we trigger a, uh, trigger a notification whenever trigger occurs. We'll, we'll go in detail of each of these, starting with the sending welcome message. In order to send a welcome message, we have handle on message added async method to send out a message to all the members. We get list of members as a part of turn context dot activity payload, and we iterate through the list and then send a welcome message. This is something is very important whenever your app starts. You could just send out information of what to expect from the app and then share the commands you can run. After the welcome message, the next thing is handling a create reminder command. So this is being handled in on message activity async. And along with sending the adaptive card, what we are doing is we are also capturing the user details. It's also known as a conversation reference. And what we are doing is we are adding this conversation reference in, in memory. So we are just keeping it in memory so that we could send out a proactive message. Here's the detailed JSON on what conversation reference means. It actually contains information about user, bot, and the conversation. You'll see a bunch of these IDs about user and even the conversation IDs. And you'll also find the service URL which is very crucial in sending proactive message. Next thing we'll check is how do we actually capture this schedule information? So based on the input provided by the end user, we create a cron expression and we schedule a task. And this task actually does a HTTP get on API slash task input. So whenever a particular trigger hits, it will just execute this part and do HTTP get request. This is the HTTP GET request uh, to, to, to send out a task reminder. What we are doing here is we are going to the conversation reference values which we have stored in memory. And we are doing using a conversation which actually gives us the turn context value, which then can be used to send the actual adaptive card as a reminder card. We are also adding a few bunch of checks to make sure that we are sending a reminder at the right time. So just to recap, we we had a demo using the ready to try manifest. We also set up a bot locally, and we just site loaded and see that uh, it's running fine. Uh, key code snippets covered are how do you capture the conversation reference, how do you schedule a job, and then how finally you can send a proactive messages. As per the resources concerned, uh, I have provided the documentation link and also a step by step guide. I'll paste in the link in the description. The step by step guide available for proactive message 
will give you specific tech specific steps about setting up things locally. We have provided all the troubleshooting guides here. You could go start from the installation, uh, having everything ready, setting up a bot, and then uh, doing some code work by updating the adaptive card to actually get the final challenge. And then at the end, you'll be able to read more about the proactive messaging documentation. So, so that brings us to the final topic. Uh, so if there are any questions, uh, I think we are on time, so we'll try and get it. Uh, we'll try and respond on chat. Uh, but if there's one or two minutes, we can uh, take questions. There were one or two questions in the chat. If you do want to take a look at those and try and respond with Jeep, that'd be helpful. Um, otherwise, I do see you put a link on here for feedback uh, and questions. So uh, folks, please do feel free to take a look at the aka.ms slash Teams platform feedback um, and utilize that for uh, any kind of follow-up that you might have. So that, Wajit, I really appreciate you coming on today. I do appreciate you coming on to share more about Teams bots, a really cool scenario, and I liked, I liked what you shared.